welcome your faces back to my channel and happy new year it's 2020 and this is the first video i'm putting out in 2020 and it's a second hand club review um, i managed to pick up a set of these they are nike vr pro blades um yes blades and if you've seen the combat golfers channel you'll know what my history with blades is uh, i put two in a field and then batted one but we're going to give them a review. Um, these are for sale in our shop. They are five to pitch in wedge and they've got a three iron as well. Uh, and they're for sale for £160 in our shop. Um, we are turning the golf shop into uh, a full golf shop. As some of you may have seen, it was a vape shop and the golf shop, but the vape shop is now closed. So we're turning it into just a full golf shop. Uh, and that will open probably in February. Uh, and we're going to specialise in custom fitting, second hand clubs, fitting second hand clubs. Um, and next day delivery on pretty much anything within the realms of anything really um, and uh, internet pricing so we're trying to give people of Plymouth a better uh, and cheaper golf experience I suppose you could say um, so yeah so I'm gonna have some hits with these uh, and let you know what I think about them um, are they any good for people like me of 12 handicap who knows my history isn't good with blades but you speak to other people. Uh, I speak to uh, Graham McKenzie, who was the grumpy golfer, aka now GMAC Golf, and he went down from 13 to 8 with blades. So I suppose you can use them. Um, it's been proven, it's just getting used to them with the small face, very thin top line, and a sole the size of most clubs' top line. I guess you've got to hit the middle of the club, um, or it's going to hurt. So we'll give these a go, we'll give them a whack. On the simulator i'll use a seven iron i'll use the pitching wedge and then we'll give that three iron a go see how we get on with that um i feel it's going to sting a little bit um so yeah let's get in the simulator let's hit some shots and let's decide if these are any good all right then we're going to start with the seven iron my current set uh my seven iron goes about 150 to 160 yards um give or take strike um, and that's due to uh, the shaft really. I'm changing the shaft to uh, the Project X 6.5 just to get the launch down and the spin down. That's my problem with that. So about 150 to 160. The shaft in this is the Dynamic Gold S300. I've got no idea what the loft, what the lie is um, or the loft. I will check that uh, and put it on the screen uh, to let you know what the 7 iron loft is. Lamkin grips, they're normal standard size. I normally use mid-size grips. Um, but let's give these a whack and let's see what sort of distance we get. Down at the ball, these things are small. Um, yeah, doesn't suit my eye, but let's give it a go and see what kind of distance we get. That one was a bit out the toe. Um, and you felt it, certainly felt it. So 146, uh, not bad I suppose, considering it was out the toe. Um, ball speed 101, very, very, very low. I want the club speed to be up at about 100, but we're just warming up. That was a good strike. Maybe there's something in this blade thing after all. 173 yards, uh, six eight spin, perfect. Launch 22, ball speed 120, 94 mile an hour club speed, but that's um, estimated on Skytrack. It's not um, a true reflection. Interesting, interesting indeed. Maybe there's something in this blade. Another good strike. Nice draw. Hundred and eighteen ball speed but lower spin. Got it a bit further out there. Uh hundred and eighty and hundred and ninety-four total. I'm interested to see what the loft is of this. I might have to go and have a quick look because that's a long way. 
going to be out to the right. But not that bad. A bit high, so that'd be a bit more spinny. 269. Spin at 7,000, high launch, good ball speed. Very interesting. I have to say, I'm very surprised by this. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to hit these, but this is uh, baffling, really. A little bit fat. A little bit fat, but still 169. Um, I mean, my swings come a long way in the last sort of few months. I've been doing uh, the journey with Dan Hendrickson, um, but I've never got that distance with my seven iron um, playing recently. Hmm. All right, let's have one more then. Let's see what the averages are. That's a good hit. So, 177, 189. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the numbers. Right, okay. Um, so the numbers with that seven iron, seven shots. Um, average ball speed, 115. There was a 101 quite low down there. First hit, I was a little bit tentative with that uh, so if we just take that one out for for the time be oh, let's look at it quickly and then we'll take that one out so 115 6000 spin perfect spin uh, carry distance 169 launch angle 22 um, better than I get with my current irons 180 total you have to take that with a pinch of salt uh, peak height 34 yards uh, and club speed 88 but again that's just a calculation but let's take this top one out uh, and that puts a ball speed of 118 um, I'd like that up near 120 125 possibly like that 121 spin 62 again perfect carry 173 um, very interesting very interesting Right, so I've had a quick look. Uh, the 7 iron is 32 degrees uh, my current 7 iron is 34 degrees so there's a 2 degree difference um, probably say three to four yards per degree, so eight yards. So yeah, um, still further. Uh, we're now going to use the pitching wedge. This is 45 degrees. My current pitching wedge is 46 degrees, so there should be next to nothing in that. My pitching wedge in my current set travels 125-ish yards. So let's see where we get with this one. So 125 yards. So this to me just looks like. Um, a normal like 50 degree wedge so I'm not that scared of this one but 45 degrees I want it to be going 125 minimum so 129 135 total it's there or thereabouts it's a degree stronger so call that Four degrees, four yards a degree possibly, depending on who you speak to. Didn't quite get that one now. Bit pulley, quite a good strike. Uh, 137, 9,000 spin, 80, 103 mile an hour ball speed. I think I might have to change my clubs. This is uh, not what I was expecting. I wasn't even expecting to be able to hit them. Oh, that's a fat toe ball. Yeah, a bit of drop down, but still 120. In fact, we may have caught pitching ways. I'm looking to get 100. All right, come on. Let's get a good strike with it. The only thing I'll say is these are a little bit shorter than mine. Mine are a quarter of an inch longer, so I'm struggling a little bit with that. That was a good hit. That was a good strike. Uh, 
133. Yeah, uh, something to be said about these clubs. Right, so that was a picture, which we'll have a look at numbers in a minute, but before we do, this is the three iron, and this scares the crap out of me. Um, this is thin, it's tiny, it's long, next to no offset, you'll see a close up of it uh, in a second. Oh dear, I cannot hit these clubs. If anyone's seen my two iron review, you will see these clubs don't work for me, but let's give it a go, let's see where we get. Oh, what a hit that is. Bit right, but. Wow. Two, two, three, a little bit right. Left it out there a bit, but. I hit it. Put a little bit further forward in the stance. Let's try and get round on it a bit. Oh, that's a strike. That's a draw. Got a draw. Oh, pulled it. Come on, you've got to be able to hit this at least one down the middle. All right, so I've scared the right side. I've scared the left side. Let's get one down the middle, shall we? A little bit not so further forward that's got to draw that's got to be good oh skytrack failed me wah, wah, wah. oh not gonna be able to hit another one like that i don't think come on mate you can do it oh yes lee yes lee Changes the blades. Changes the blades. So I said these clubs are for sale. They might not be. <laughs> these might be going in the bag. Let's have one more hit with them. Come on. Get one out there to 250. Oh, thin bullet. Thin bullet. That's the problem with blades. You get it wrong, you know about it. Right, one more go. I should have stopped on that good hit. Always stop on a good hit. Top tip at the driving range. If you hit a good one with your last ball, you feel good. Come on. That's got to be a good shot. Tell you what, they may not be making clubs anymore. But these are stunning. Well, uh, could they be going in the back? Um, I have to say I'm a little bit surprised. One, that I could hit them. Um, and it just goes to show that Graham was right. You know, people can use blades. You do need to be a ball striker. You do need to hit these out the middle. You know, 220 with this is good. But... Some people can hit five irons that far. Um, but the seven iron went, when it was straight, it went a long way. The feel of the face is like nothing. Um, I very I don't, I very rarely have hit a blade out the middle. Um, that Some of them seven irons, and even one of these three irons was straight out the middle. Uh, and there's just no feeling like it. Um, and control, I think, Hard. I'm in shock. A little bit of shock, to be honest, at how good these are. I don't think they'll be for sale for very long because I think I'm probably going to keep them. Anyway, that's been a second hand club review, and the second hand club was the Nike VR Pro Blakes. Um, for the price, uh, £160 wear sound and 4.5 to pitch and wedge. Uh, I don't know where you can get them elsewhere. But what a bargain! Just shows that you don't need to go out and spend a thousand, two thousand in some cases on irons. Go to a decent second-hand club place, uh, golf factory, 
golf bid, uh, golf clubs for cash, uh, and soon to be us. Um, I think there's another one, affordable golf. There's, there's quite a few around. But go somewhere where you can try them because I would never, ever have bought these on a whim, off eBay, off a website. But having tried them in here, if I was in the look for new search for new irons, I'd be buying these right now. Definitely buying these right now. Anyway, I've been Lee Whitaker. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are new here and this is the first time you've watched a video of mine, please consider, hit, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell so you're notified of any uploads I do. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think. Do you like blades? Um, do you like these blades? Do you like Nike? What happened to Nike? You know, shame really. Uh, drop a like, drop a comment down below. Um, if you're a current subscriber, thank you very much for last year, for all your support. It was greatly appreciated. And I look forward to possibly meeting some of you this year um, at events that go on or if anyone's up for a game of golf around the Plymouth area, Devon, Cornwall. Drop me, a, drop me a comment, drop me a PM or DM on Instagram. It's uh, at Lee Whitaker Golf uh, on Instagram and just search at Golf Whitaker or Lee Whitaker Golf on Twitter. Little handles will come down here. Uh, drop me a message and we'll get a game going. Uh, we could even vlog it if you wanted to. But that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon.